Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today it's the eve of the new moon of June, which actually kicks in at about 3 a.m. And this is a time for new beginnings for a lot of people, even if it doesn't feel like that right now. So there's a lot of things actually culminating now, concluding, and there's going to be some new things starting up. So your ending is truly your beginning here. And a uh, couple of things I'd like to talk to you about to help you kind of navigate this time and to, you know, know that you're on the right, right track. Um, first, I got some personal messages like I usually do. I take my messages from everywhere, from symbolics to the animals to nature. Um, right here in Chicago, the seasons have been uh, playing with us a bit. We've had days where we've had three seasons in one day. And this has meant that uh, I've been turning my air conditioning on, turning it off, putting on blankets and so forth. And yet the feel of it is that we've jumped quite literally from June to September. So that in itself is symbolic for me. And this came in the mail. This is actually for a plumbing company. But look at what that says. Get out of jail. And this card may be kept until it's needed. And for a lot of you, you're going to feel like that. You're going to feel the freedom. That's actually what the planet of um, uh, Uranus represents. Uranus. Um, it, we'll get into that a little bit. Also, this came. This one says, this is your time to celebrate. So that's what the solstice was. This actually came just before the solstice and another symbolic in the mess, uh, symbolic message on the inside. Our house is perfect for any occasion. But I took this to mean um, the body, the house, the everything that you've prepared, your haven, your home, everything that you've been preparing for your twin to come home to you. And so what this time is also... Uh, as we head into this this new moon, this is new. This is a time to set new intentions. This is where you set up for this next moon cycle where you create. You use these quantum energies to start creating what you want to see moving forward. Picking and choosing. You're not just you're not in the mode of just taking things as they come anymore. You are the one who is actually co-creating because you are these energies. You're, they're anchored right into your body. So, uh, again, I'm going to preface this by saying I'm not an astrologer. I don't pretend to be one. And yet I feel these energies very much in a personal way as if they're, they're quite literally living energies for me. So this is the closing of the March Equinox portal. Um, some of you have seen the video that I did for April 2014 big grand cardinal cross and that was huge that was really intense for a lot of people and you live through it and the thing is is that um, the portal that opened up just before that and in fact for many illumined twin flames like myself that um, these energies actually started from 2010 to 2013 guess what this is the closing of it so you hit the gas, it's time to take your foot off the accelerator and kind of coast into your destination. You're, you're here, and you're going to have to turn your focus to the new, the new that you've created in your new beginnings with your twin flame. So there's a lot going on. Uh, you've got all the cardinal energies that you've pulled in and anchored into your body, and it wasn't easy, and I applaud you because you did it. You're here. And the closing of this portal. So yeah, taking your foot off the gas. you got a new moon, which is new beginnings. You're closing the circle on various agreements with people, places, things, situations. And some of you uh, declared this a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, even four years ago, in order to do this and be with your twin. Well, guess what? This is your time. So you're not waiting in vain. It's all been used wisely 
the entire universe is orchestrating this to put it all into place for you. July 1st, Mercury goes retrograde and we start moving forward. So be, to, be prepared to move forward. And actually, I've got my webinar prepared now, and it's going to help a lot of people to move forward. Some people may already be doing their moving forward. The majority of people will need some type of assistance because here's some of the agreements that have concluded. Some of your guides are now concluding their agreement with you because it's time now. It's time that many people are stepping into their sovereignty. They've pulled in their higher self. Their guidance is getting clearer. So you might not need as many guides. Uh, you might not need to quite rely upon them in the same way because you're feeling, you're being intuitive, you're knowing exactly what to do in situations, you're knowing what to say, you're knowing when to walk away. And that's huge. Um, you also have uh, Neptune at this time. Now, for many twin flames, I will be honest with you, uh, whether or not you remember it, Many of you did assist with the ascension of Neptune, and that's what we do. Our love actually levitates and lightens things up. That's what we do. That's part of what we do. That is the result of our love making. So a lot of you who are here now for this Earth ascension will start remembering. You might have some memories, but Neptune is very important because it's as if you're pulling the rest of you in. And so um, there's several other things at play here. Um, many of you will find that your masculine counterpart is quite literally going to come into himself. This is a huge push for the masculine. And about two weeks ago, I did a video for Father's Day where I said, I pretty much said, Lay off the masculine. Stop being angry at him. Because if you keep a wall of anger, if you keep this, you don't have forgiveness. You can't receive. He can't receive. And so, you you know, many people, they, they sort of felt this in their heart. And they are now, their twin is actually receiving the rest of what's been safely set aside in another place. Exactly for this time. So you're really important, and so wait and see, because come July, this is going to be more cause for celebration. It's going to be fireworks. It's going to be risk-taking. It's going to be all kinds of stuff happening. People are going to start having more amazing experiences and less of the, the bumpy road. So... Um, the Venus energy, which started back in 2012, uh, the ri what they call the rising of the feminine, that's actually coming in here. Uh, and the Venus, the feminine, wants to follow the fantasy. It's not a fantasy. What other people call fantasy is our reality. We do have fantastical experiences, fantastical memories. We create this. We are the ones who create everything. So this is also imp being impulsive, but in a good way, taking risks. And um, we just passed through the sign of Gemini. Well, what's Gemini? These are the twins, the lovers. But what many people were finding is that all that glitters is not gold. That many things, you know, they're just sort of surface level, and you really want the deep stuff. Well, guess what? We're moving into Cancer, and the energies are here to support you for that because Cancer is home. It's home, it's comfort, it's physical, material comfort. It's sometimes the limitations of the material world, and it's also uh, sensuality of the senses. You're going to have your senses, your senses will be completely heightened. You'll be relying much more upon your senses and your inner feelings. And that's going to be important. Remember about the inner feelings because less and less will you be able to get things or receive from the outside. You're actually creating from the inside out. So there's a lot of 180 degree shifts that are going to take place. You'll see it in your twin 180 degree turnaround. People around you, the government, um, you'll see just, um, you know, 
rather than, you know, from you'll be able to go, oh, I got this, I know this. Why? Because you've made that 180 degree shift in your own abilities. Um, the other thing is that we're coming up with the energies of Mars, Uranus, Saturn. This all means actions, freedom, get out of jail, freedom, and the limitations of matter. So this is going to be people extricating themselves from relationships, from marriages. Uh, maybe they've already done it. They've already, they're finishing it. Maybe they filed for divorce and it's dragged on for one or two years. And it's now concluding. So these are the kind of things that are wrapping up uh, lawsuits, different things. Um, now, why is this? There's something really important to know here. When we agreed to do this ascension, uh, I don't know if, how well you can see that. Let me move this a bit. We left source. Uh, which I've represented here by the circle. There were three waves of us, people born in the 1930s and 40s, people born in the 50s and 60s, and people born in the 70s and 80s. And then we have sort of a cutoff, a uh, cutoff of like the indigo people and, and things like that, um, where we had certain soul agreements or directives that we were going to follow. But of that, Certain people decided that they were doing it and f held true and fast to this. And they are now becoming the first wave. So the first wave is getting in place to merge this July. And you're going to really start to feel this excitement, fireworks. For people that have made the decisions to stay in old things, maybe out of fear, they are being allowed to stay there because the time and energy is being given to the people who have persevered for the first wave. It just has to be that way. We need to have people in place. Just like when you build a house and you need to have the foundation set up before you start putting in uh, the electrical or something like that. So um, there's nothing against anyone. The universe knows what it's doing, and these agreements are being used very wisely, and if someone isn't ready, if they're not finished with their agreement, it doesn't mean that they won't be with their twin, but what they'll find is that as we're passing through these energies, and they're staying in a marriage out of fear, um, it won't feel right to them. Will it be easier to leave? Yes, because... The, the things that once blocked people, like religion or money, um, sometimes it just won't matter. But they w may feel like they're being accelerated through things. The next huge wave that's coming, the next portal is going to be in August, end of August into early September, in time for the vernal equinox. So we're, there's still more coming up here. There will be more of a mass awakening. So the people that you may have felt are asleep, they're going to start waking up and you're going to have to be ready for them. And when they start popping out their stuff, you have to be safe in your union. That's my suggestion. Make yourself safe in your union. And a couple things that I'll leave you with. Um, a lot of people whose twins have told them, Oh, you, we're just friends. I just feel like friends. That's not exactly what they're saying. Let me tell you something. Your twin is your best friend in the entire universe. They are literally your best friend in the entire universe. Back of the heart chakra, they will always have your back because they are the only ones that fit into the back of your heart and vice versa. So let the other things fall away. You don't have to see it. They're not going to speak the same language sometimes, but they're getting it, and the rest of them is coming in here to do this. Don't doubt. Keep expecting. It is for this brand new paradigm. The other uh, couple of things that I do want to say, um, there's a lot of disagreement about how things are. You know, some people say certain things. And it's always been my own personal belief and my driving force that 
this is happening for a reason. This using the impulse of a planetary ascension is you're ascending what could be a better time. The, the other thing is, is how could you believe that it's not for everyone? I just can't see that it's not for everyone. What that's that's not even God. That isn't even the divine. That it's uh, we are here. We've prepared a template. We are gifting it to the people who will begin to wake up, and they'll need to know how to use it. They'll need to know how to form it, how to live, and you know, a lot of you are going to be needed. A lot of you have things inside you, gifts that are going to be very necessary. Some of the people who chose to stay in old relationships and marriages actually had babies and those babies are going to need you. The children are very important because they are the next waves of twins who are coming together, many of them. And there are many entities incarnating here to receive the brand new template of 5D Union. So you are important. You are precious. The twin flame message is make love, not war. So stop the arguing and the fighting. Feel with your heart. What is the truth of your heart? Don't be influenced by other people. Don't look at all kinds of things out there on Facebook and commiserate and then try to apply it to your union. This is most definitely the time where we're having another kind of crossroad here and people are really having, having to feel within and feel their internal GPS system as to their guidance. But for those who've done their work, it's going to be effortless. Effortless. And I'm going to just say this. Have you met the Divine Feminine? Could you imagine her not getting these things done? Have you met the Divine Masculine? Have you not imagined that the sweetness is coming into all of this and everything will melt together? This is the experience. You are stepping right into the time of your own experiencing of it. Experiencing melding the energies together physically with your twin. Not separately. You may have to practice separately. But it is most definitely where the universe is moving you along and accelerating you. Thank you so much. My webinar is up. I'm going to have the link right here. Um, also, many people have asked me about my website. I took it down quite deliberately to work on the materials exactly for this time. That was my guidance. That was part of the agreement with my twin. And I will also say, if you're your best friend to your twin, Consider what they do for a living, because if they have a critical job, you want to be as calm as possible. And so my webinar is going to talk about how the runner will return, the physical, metaphysical parts of the body, and we're going to start, I'm going to start showing you some uh, things that there's almost too much to cover. It's, it's going to be laid out in a series. Um, there will be uh, positions for you to use to ease and open your channels. So there's going to be a lot, and uh, there's already some material gathered for it. Thank you so much. Uh, just continue feeling as you go day by day, and that's what you do just for today. You feel what it is for today. Don't stress about the how and the details. It's being filled in. You can't always see it at this level. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye.